up for sale now at Vehicle Max. We have a 2008 Buick Enclave, black on the outside with a tan leather interior. It's completely loaded up and it's a CXL model. Has a factory navigation, factory moonroof with rear sky view, color backup camera, DVD player, chrome, um, chrome wheels, power tailgate, and a number of other options that I'll get into in just a minute. It also has uh, four brand new Michelins that have less than a couple thousand miles on them. Car is all original, has a clean title and a clean Carfax. You can view right now for free at our website, vehiclemax.net. <coughs> If you're watching this video in Auto Trader, let me tell you, it will cut off at um, three minutes to see the full 10 minute video. In this case, it might be 15. Please visit our website, vehiclemax.net. We are located at 3200 Northwest 37th Street, Miami, Florida. 33142 is our zip code. We are open Monday to Friday from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m., Saturday 9 to 5, and we're always closed on Sundays. We have been in the car business since 1992 and have sold over 30,000 cars. We are an accredited member of the Better Business Bureau with an A-plus rating. You can check that out for yourself right on our website. On the home page is a clickable link to the Better Business Bureau site, which will take you right to our rating. <coughs> if you have any questions, feel free to call me. My name is George. You can be reached at 305-218-5462. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, get it started now. One of the many options in this car is a remote start. And I'll demonstrate that now. Okay, let's make sure it's locked. There it goes. And that's a really neat option, especially in the summer when it's nice and hot. As long as when you left your vehicle last, you left the air conditioning running, once the car turns on, the AC will come on and will cool down the car for you. Same thing in the winter when it's nice and uh, cold outside. As long as you had your heater on when you last left the vehicle, when the vehicle comes on, the heater will come on. When the car reaches temperature, the, uh, the heater will uh, warm up the car for you. When you're ready to drive off, all you've got to do is um, unlock the vehicle, put the key in the ignition, open the switch, and you're ready to drive off. If you change your mind and you want to turn off the car, just do the opposite, press it here again, and the car turns right off. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, let's get inside of the car now and get it started. <clears throat> HID lights. A lot of options in this car, so bear with me. I'm, I'm trying to make sure I get all of them. The door panels are two-tone. Like a mocha and like a latte color here with the wood trimming, the silver accent, and the chrome door handle. Has the Bose stereo sound system. Power windows, power door locks, screws control, tilt wheel, tilt wheel, power folding mirrors, memory seats for up to two drivers, power seat, power recliner, and lumbar support, as well as uh, curtain side airbags here on the front post, the middle post, another one in this post in here inside, and another one on the back post. So we got a total of eight side airbags, as well as, um, where's the seat area? Here we go. Seat airbags over here on the front side of the front seats. And uh, so that makes a total of 10 side airbags plus your standard uh, driver's side airbag and passenger side airbag. So a total of 12 airbags. Okay, let me go ahead and sit down and get it started, show you the interior options. <coughs> okay. First things first, let's put the AC because it's nice and warm here today. There we go. All right, okay, let's get the navigation going. Oops, I turned it off. Touch screen. And there's our navigation screen. Let's go ahead and, uh, by the way, um, uh, we got your, this is a power moon roof and in the rear, I don't know if you can see it from here, you got the rear sky view, okay. Uh, there's a DVD player. I'll show it to you from the other angle better. Let's go ahead and open this up here. By the way, we got um, for the rear, there's a shade, but let's do the sunroof first. It's so one touch. As you can see, you don't have to hold the um, you don't have to hold the uh, the button. Same thing for clothes. Okay, and then you got the shade here to uh, block out the sun. Okay. Um, 
back in the back we have a power shade and let me see if I can demonstrate that from here bear with me and trying to do two things at the same time here okay that's still open and here's the close okay and that's your your shade all right okay um navigation screen here if you put the car in reverse we'll go to the backup camera and uh, it will activate the uh, backup sensors and let's see how that works we'll back up to the vehicle that are moving the car backward now just to show you how it works <coughs> vehicles also equipped with the uh, heavy duty tone package okay there's our first set of warnings we're still nowhere near we're probably about five ten feet away when we get closer it'll give us the second set of warning there's a second set of warnings. The warning, as you can see, the warning light gets a little bigger. This is our rear bumper here, by the way, the outline of our rear bumper. And there's our third warning. I think there's actually one more. Maybe not. That might be the last one. There's the last one where it starts actually making sound. Okay. And uh, that's our parking sensors. You put it in drive, pull forward, and eventually it'll go back to the navigation screen. Car is beeping right now because I don't have my seatbelt on. <clears throat> okay, um, heated seats. You can heat the entire seat or just the backrest. Three levels of comfort: high, medium, low, and off. Same thing for the backrest. Okay, and of course, in the driver's side as well, not just the passenger side. Uh, power tailgate, and I'll operate that for you in a minute when we get out of the car. Uh, towing haul mode and traction control. It is an automatic transmission, but on the side here it's got the um, manual shifting mode. If you go past the D into the L, once you go in there, you can tap here or here to shift up or down. Okay, uh, but most people don't use that. That's just in case you you know you want to put a little sport into it, or you're going down a mountain and you want to take uh, ease off on the brakes. Cup holders here, wood trimming. Uh, and not only wood trimming on the side panels and here over here, but also near the uh, around the uh, instrument panel and it continues all across here in the dashboard into the passenger side And of course the same thing on the door panel over there and the steering wheel is part wood with a uh, leather trim And I'll pan around that nice and slow so you can see it's in perfect shape Once again, let me remind you that we're located at 3200 Northwest 37th Street, Miami, Florida, 33142 is our zip code. Open Monday to Friday from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Saturday, 9 to 5, and always closed on Sundays. Cruise control. Uh, here's your uh, stereo controls, and let's go ahead and operate that. Let me see if we have a DVD in there. Maybe we do. Okay, the navigation, uh, the navigation radio plays DVDs also as long as the car is in park once you take the car to park for obvious reasons it uh, it turns it stops playing the movie up here and as I'll show you I'm gonna go on to the back so you can see that we're watching here in the front the same thing that's being played in the back uh, right now it's in between screens there it goes I don't know if you can see it there you can see it's playing both the same thing by the way this screen here so it has a plastic cover on it. I don't get the feeling that they use this television much. Okay, this is the uh, factory Panasonic system. Okay. So as you can see, we can play the same in the front as in the back. Clearly, when the car is uh, in uh, in park only. Okay. Let's go ahead and play some music now. Let's press F. Let's see if the XM is active or not. Right now, no. It does have the XM capability, but right now it's on preview mode. You have to call and sign up for your subscription. FM, let's put a little music. Let's find, uh, let's see if we can find a station here. It's actually playing music. see we have uh, the remote controls on the steering wheel here we can raise the volume lower the volume uh, these here are to seek about the preset stations now on the new radio uh, this is to seek any available station and um, 
this is to the source button means to move from AM to FM to XM to DVD auxiliary and so on okay and this is the mute and unmute button okay so um, what else can I tell you it's a ton of stuff I'm that I'm uh, I haven't told you yet <coughs> okay sorry about that on star system in a few minutes I'll talk to you about that on the rear view mirror there is a uh, compass that lets you know that we're pointing or heading in the east direction and this is a uh, auto dimming mirror the eye that you see there when somebody puts their high beams on you it darkens the mirror so it doesn't bother your vision let's talk about the OnStar I talked to you about uh, having side airbags a bunch of them well <clears throat> if you get into a car accident and I'll pan around the vehicle while I'm talking about the OnStar if you get into a car accident uh, and any of the airbags deploy including the side airbags it will send an immediate signal to the OnStar Center to let them know you've been involved in an accident <clears throat> They'll attempt to contact you through the car to make sure you're okay. And um, uh, if you do not respond within a reasonable amount of time, they'll dispatch emergency vehicles to come to your aid. Okay? Uh, another cool thing about the OnStar, if you need to find the nearest gas station, hotel, restaurant, hospital, or if you're just plain old lost, just all you gotta do is push that blue OnStar button and they'll give you turn by turn directions until you arrive at your destination. If you happen to lock your keys inside your car, uh, they provide you with a number to call. You call the number, identify yourself, and they can send an immediate signal to the car to get it open, which will save you a bunch of time and money having to wait for a locksmith and having to pay a locksmith. Okay, uh, that's enough about the OnStar. <coughs> this is your home link or your universal garage control mode here. This is so you can program your garage door or gate. That way you don't have to have the remote with you. You can use this remote here. You can program up to three gates. By the way, going back to the OnStar, I forgot to tell you, if you purchase this vehicle, you get a free three-month uh, three trial uh, for free on OnStar. If you do not like it, after three months, you can cancel it, and there's no charge there. Storage up here in the center. Your main glove box is down here with the owner's manual and booklets and all these supplemental booklets that you need. In the center console, this center console actually slides back and forth for your convenience how you like to put your elbow there arrested and here we have storage here coin trays and like put pens and stuff like that there and then uh, in here if you press here there's some storage up here as well okay um, automatic headlights uh, fog lights um, <coughs> okay we got a uh, power folding mirrors And uh, let's see the passenger one. All right, there you go. Okay, uh, of course we got power mirrors, power door locks, switch control to a wheel. I'm not gonna bother showing you the power windows going down. That's pretty silly. Uh, map lights up here. Vanity mirrors with lighting. Okay. Uh, I think we're ready to move on to the back. I don't think this. Oh, by the way, we have dual climate control, and what that means is we can make the say the passenger side uh, 65, and the driver still can keep his at 60. And if you take into consideration <clears throat> the uh, rear AC controls, the car vehicle has really um, uh, triple climate control. Okay, the car has 64,323 miles. Uh, right there on the right hand side, you can see it shows you the outside temperature, which right now it's 92 degrees. The car is running right now, so keep an eye on it. I'm going to rev it. Keep an eye on your left hand dial, it's a tachometer. 3.6 liter V6 and the reason I'm revving it <coughs> it's so you can see that the car is running and idling perfectly and uh, that there are no uh, check engine light on, no airbag light, no service engine soon, no maintenance due, no traction control light everything is working to perfection okay let's go ahead and turn it off and let's move out to the middle section and back section of this vehicle and uh, so we can start to conclude this video we still got a bitty ways to go the uh, tilt wheel is powered, uh, so you can just press here, and as you can see it goes down, up, and I believe it's also telescopic, and that's what that means, it comes toward you and away from you, okay, alright, let's move on to the middle row section of this vehicle, we got bucket seats in the front with a center console, in the middle we got also another set of buckets, so we got quad captain chairs, back here are the uh, controls for the uh, rear AC, and uh, also you can control the stereo and down here you have a video input uh, I believe this is a power source here yes so if you can power it there 
or using the cigarette light adapter, you can play it here. Okay. <clears throat> Again, this is the rear sky view. Okay, the front one opens. The middle section, all it does is just let the light in. Okay. Uh, AC vents for the middle row passengers right here, and on this side here. Okay, and there's also map lights on either side of the DVD, and the rear row passengers have their own set of AC vents. Okay, as well as their own map lights as well. Okay, in the rear, we can put up to three passengers, so this is a total of seven passengers, and they all have an over-the-shoulder belt, including the middle row passengers. The middle row passenger, I'm oh, sorry, including the middle row passenger, which uses this one that comes off the roof back here. I can barely reach, I'm sorry. To get entry into the back, you can just, you can just walk in between the seats, or the seat will flop down and lift up and get out of the way so you can get in back there. Look, like whoever had this car didn't have any kids, or if they did, they had adult kids or something, because there's no indentations of baby car seats, and it's nice and clean back here. You know, kids are really tough on cars, you know, they with their ketchup and their crayons and their candies and stuff, and this car is really clean inside. Um, okay, for the, um, on the rear doors, I should say the middle row uh, doors, this vehicle has the uh, child lock protection system, and this is how it works. Stick your key in here, or a screwdriver, either one, twist it to the left, and what that does is that disables this inside door handle. That's in case you have kids and you don't want them to be able to open the door from the inside. The only handle that works when you engage it is the outer handle. To re-engage for adult passengers, just twist it to the right and this handle will start working again. Okay, let's go ahead and operate the power tailgate. Okay, the power tailgate can be opened from the remote control inside the vehicle or even from back here by pressing on the button below the handle. Okay, this third row seat here is a what we call a 60-40. 60% is on this side, 40% is on that side. And it flips down and it can fold down together or separately uh, by pulling on here. It flips down the headrest and then you just um, push it forward and you pull back toward you by pulling on the strap here. And then you lift this back up here. You can do both at the same time or only one in case you want you, uh, you need to carry just something on this side and you still need the seating capacity over here. Okay, to close the tailgate, oh by the way, in here, get your um, bunch of stuff that hasn't even been used. Here's your headphones, never even been used. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, close this back here. To close the power tailgate, you can just press up here, or you can use your remote, or you can do it from inside the car. It has uh, four parking sensors in the rear bumper, two on each side, and these are the ones that were beeping or backing up before. Your heavy duty tow package is behind that cover there. Dual exhaust. By the way, all the tail lights and headlights and all the chrome trimming is in perfect shape. It's not damaged or scuffed in any way. The chrome is not peeling. It's not all nice and clear. Rear wiper, rear window defroster. Again, it's a CXL model, completely loaded. Just because it's a CXL, the only standard feature is the leather and a couple of the smaller things. This vehicle is completely loaded with everything you can put on it. Okay, let's go ahead and open the right side doors and we'll go ahead and conclude this video. Once again, let me remind you that we're located at 3200 Northwest 37th Street, Miami, Florida, 33142 is the zip code. Open Monday to Friday from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m., Saturday 9 to 5, and always close on Sundays. If you have any questions, feel free to call me. My name is George. I can be reached at 305-218-5462. Okay, if you require financing, we have excellent rates for good credit, and we also have um, special financing for not such good credit. Power C also, power recliner, and lumbar support on the passenger side. Panel with the seating area here. Let's talk a little bit more about the credit. If you live a long, a long distance away and you're concerned about financing, you want us to get you pre-approved before you make the drive, just go to our website, vehiclemax.net. There's a, um, a link right on the homepage, a silver tab that says apply for credit. Click it, fill it out completely. Click submit at the bottom of the page and give us a call so we can retrieve your application and get you pre-approved. That's gonna do it for the video in this car. If you have any questions, feel free to call me. And I want to go ahead and thank you for watching our video at vehiclemax.net.